Now from the News 3 studios, this is Local Living. If you want to get healthy, you've probably thought about eating better, maybe working out a bit more. But have you thought about herbs, natural supplements? I'm Courtney Perno. This is Local Living. Our next guest says herbal supplements and those natural remedies can have a positive impact on your overall well-being. Please welcome speaker and best-selling author and podcaster, Stacey Chalemi. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So if the uh, people out there have families like mine, when I talk about herbs and supplements, they say, well, that's hippie stuff. Right? I don't know, but it really can have a big impact on your overall health. Oh, it could have a huge impact mm -hmm. on your overall health. And like I was um, saying, and I tell about it in my book, right. I had epilepsy, and when I incorporated mm -hmm. natural mm -hmm. supplements, herbs, detoxin, my epilepsy became controlled with the help of integration and my medicine, my seizures got controlled. Yeah, the book right here, Epilepsy, You Are Not Alone, a personal view on how to cope with the disorder. And you said you started out first by detoxing. Yes. What does that mean? We hear that word, but what does it really mean? The, so when I detox, so I, the one thing I want to get straight to people is mm -hmm. that everybody's different. So everybody mm. has, you know, what works for you might not work for another person. But overall, we carry tons and tons of toxins in our body. And there are many ways to detox. And we need, you need to cleanse your body mm -hmm. and cleanse your colon from a lot of impurities and toxins. And once I started to do that, I noticed a huge imp improvement in my health, the way I was feeling, my energy, my clarity, my focus. Everything changed, including my seizures. It was unbelievable. Well, I think particularly as women, and I'm a woman of a certain age, right? Yeah. We just think it comes with that. Oh, that that brain fog, everything. But you're saying really it, it, it's the toxins. It could be some of the natural things that we could be using to help that. How do we know though what we need? You mentioned everyone's different. How do I know what I'm deficient in? I always suggest to people that they go to see a functional medicine doctor mm. because you don't know until you actually get bl blood work. You know, so many people like to be their own doctors, but until you get thorough blood work and functional medicine doctors will check for things that primary doctors yes, don't check for. Yes, they do it differently. That's yes. right. And what about some easily to implement changes to our diet, right? Like I know that I shouldn't go to Burger King, that I should <laughs> have a salad, like I get that. But what about, you know, just reading the labels and, and knowing what we're eating? I think that's one of the biggest problems in America. People don't read the labels. If mm. you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. <laughs> you know, it's very simple. You know, there's so many foods out there that are so bad for your health. They can give you so many different conditions, including cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, start reading those labels. Start looking at what you're actually putting into that body because toxins, you know, get stored in our body and they don't leave until you, you start doing things to make them leave. And spoiler alert, when you do start reading those labels, and Googling what they are, it's slightly frightening, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's people at home going, that sounds great, but I'm busy. I'm a busy mom or like, I'm, I'm busy working. You know, it's kind of a myth that you can't really do a healthy diet or healthy lifestyle when you're busy, but you're saying that's not the case. I mean, what, what can we really be doing? Oh my goodness, you know, so many people say that all the time. The first thing you could do is start planning your foods. If you're mm. home and you're, you're on the weekend, you know, start um, making some foods, preparing, free, put them in the freezer. And if you're running around and you don't have the time, well, where am I going to be? Mm -hmm. You know, what healthy food places are there and what can I get? You know, like a salad instead of a hamburger. Mm -hmm. You know, start, you know, um, utilizing it and start changing your diet and eating more healthy foods. And instead of having all that salad dressing on you, say, can I have that on the side, please? Mm -hmm. You know, just easy steps, easy changes can make a huge impact. And for me, it was making plant-based recipes. I was veganizing recipes for my family. They had no idea. <laughs> So that, you know, just quickly, that's a way that we can add more fruits and veggies. Oh, 100%. I went to, a, um, uh, it was Red House Wellness Retreat, mm -hmm. and they had a, a chef there. And all he did was plant-based um, food, it. and it was great. Amazing. So you can get more information about Stacy's coaching and speaking engagements in her books. You can click on stacychalemi.com and check out our podcast, The Advisor with Stacy Chalemi. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. See you next time.